Talk a little bit about your season so far. You're off to a very good start as well as a team, but you know, just talk about how you've done so far this season. Uh, yeah, I've been throwing the ball pretty well. I mean, I had a few strikeouts on the season, but really just got to think about working over my body and keeping the ball down in the zone. If they hit it, they hit it. I don't, you know, let them hit it. See how far they go. I got the best events behind me. But for me, it's just simply just keeping it down in the zone, see how, see how hard I can throw it. Mm-hmm. And you, you had a great start to start the season down at the IP Classic. I mean, what was it during that game, you know, that, that made, made you feel pretty good about how this season was going to unfold for you? We, uh, as a team, we just prepared very well. But then that whole day, I was kind of in the zone on the way down to the bus ride, on the bus ride down the whole time there. We had to wait for a while, but we were just, we were fired up for that game. And that, you know, just kind of gave me the confidence that if I could beat AC Floor, I can beat pretty much anyone in the state because they're one of the best teams in the state, no doubt. All right. And what were some of the things that you wanted to work on coming into this season? What were some of the areas where of your game where you wanted to kind of improve? And how do you feel like you've done so far? I had to control my emotions a little bit better than I have in the past. Um, kind of known for exploding up a little bit, getting too emotional both ways, up and down. So controlling that, I had to locate better, fastball, curveball, change up all the way around, work inside, I work outside, work faster, work slower at times, know when to take a step back, breathe, know when to work faster, know what my team's doing everything all the way around. And, and for those of us who haven't seen you, just kind of describe yourself as a pitcher. I mean, what, what do you do well? Uh, I work at a pretty good pace. Um, I have a good pace. Uh, keep, the, keep, our, keep, our, uh, keep our team going well. Just throw strikes at me as much as possible. Keep the walks limited. Just keep our team in the game. All right. And, and your, your game has taken a big step up here lately, and, and uh, Eric Kemp is your pitching coach. Just talk a little bit about what he's meant to you and, and the impact he's kind of had on your ability. Oh, Hempy is he's helped me tremendously throughout the offseason. Me and him worked together in the weight room. He helped me get stronger. He helped me work over my body, which is a big thing with me. He's kept my arm healthy. He's hooked me up with the right people to go get stretched out, to go work out with right mechanics, proper mechanics, uh, good long toss program throughout the season, and it's gone very well. It's been a big help to me. All right, and go the rest of the season, going into the summer, going into Clemson next year, what are some of the, some of the things that you're wanting to work on and improve upon? In high school, high school I can get away with a 87 on hour fastball down the middle. I'm not going to get away with that at Clemson. I need to learn how to locate a little bit better inside and out, uh, control my emotions a lot better because I don't want to look stupid up there, but it'll, it'll be – It'll be all right. It'll be fun. All right. And t- take us back through the recruiting process a little bit. What, um, what, what made you decide on Clemson? It all started at the Palmetto games for me at Carolina. Uh, threw very well down there. I didn't have too much attention going up until then. But then that day, that next day, pretty much everyone at Palmetto games was calling me from Clemson to Carolina to – I even went down to an Alabama camp and got offered by them. But Clemson's been my dream since I was five years old. Once they called me and I took a visit there, I fell in love with it, offered, accepted it. Don't regret it. And, you know, you, you're on a team with a lot of talent, uh, commitments going to Clemson, South Carolina, and, and some, some other schools coming up here pretty soon, I think. Just how, how does it elevate your game play in with, with so much talent around you? Does it make you want to be better? Uh, it makes me want to work ten times as hard just because you, you want to be the best anywhere on your team by yourself in the league, so it makes me want to work that much harder. But, you know, when you have a defense, you know, with two Clemson commits in the infield, a South Carolina commit in the outfield, you can't go wrong with that. So it's just easy to do my job.